So I'm here with Zeph, and we are checking out my medic. How's it going, Zeph? Doing good. Just got to watch Steven land up at Sky Park Airport, and we're just going to take you guys through a tour around uh, my medic HQ. So come on, let's go. Cool. So this is just break room, bathrooms, you know, the stuff you need to have happy employees. Uh, on our ground floor is going to be mostly all production and logistics. So you so, assemble all of your kits here. Yep. So everything you find in our kits is shipped to this warehouse. Um, we're actually in the middle of rearranging things. So all your stuff our comes in, seems... in large kits. Yes. Yep. And then you're able to assemble everything. So like these are the individual bags. Correct. So yeah, everything from our gauzes to our medications to... Um, Band-aids get shipped in here, um, and then we'll have our in-house team put them into their, their plastic bags if you're getting a med pack. So those all get put together here, and then we actually fulfill them from this location. So if, well. I, if I order something online, it would be shipped from this location? Yeah, shipped from this location if you order it from my medic. So yeah, this is mostly all those supplies that I was talking about. So anything that gets put into a kit um, is going to be on these shelves, and then we have a couple of tables like this where you'll see our production team putting the kits together for consumers. So I see they're assembling some of the kits here. Yep. So which kits are these, like the, the ladies are assembling right this now? This one will be our Medic Pro, I believe. So this is our top dollar kit, so $1,300 um, kit, but we like to call it a hospital in a bag. And then back here will be our shipping bay. These will be orders that are boxed up. So right these are going out to individual customers right now. Yep, these are orders that we're waiting to fulfill as soon as the you know UPS or FedEx or whoever it is comes in, um, picks them up, and then they're off to the customer, hopefully... Hopefully not to be used. Yeah, well, like in our case, we did have to use ours at one of our airport stops. Yeah. That was unplanned, but it was good to have the kit and totally. everything that we needed. Um, basically, this is all ready to ship product. All the kits on the racks are so the basically automatic. ready to go. Um, so an order, order comes in. Shipping team gets that order, goes and finds the product, puts it into a box. Um, so and these are the fully assembled ones that the other crew is Yeah. Get. What type of bags are these? Yeah, so this is our recon kit. This is the new recon. So it's the same build as the kit that I gave you, mm -hmm. just the, the bag's different. The bag's so a little different. So it's a little more backpack style. Right. Um, but it's basically like a, it's a variation of an EMT jump bag, basically. So what, so what would this be predominantly used for? So would this yeah. be like for hiking or we have people who do that this one's really popular with emts and paramedics Just like again, something they'll, to they'll, keep along with them yeah they'll, they'll use it as a jump bag um a lot of people really like them for like large camping trips or anything like that because it's got a lot of stuff in there to care for a, a lot of people got our awesome shipping manager nicole what's up nicole hi nicole how are you doing wonderful awesome and then um back here is gonna be all of our loose loose products so um, most of what we have in our kits, you can buy on the website just by itself as well. Um, so that's what this wall is. So if you needed to refill something or med packs, so these are small first aid kits that are based around a solution or an ailment um, or an activity. So it's like a CPR kit. That's so a CPR kit. Airway. We'll have some for cold and flu. So this is just going to be like runny nose, you know, flu symptoms. So it's, it's going to just treat the thing on the packaging um so we have a lot of those that are for a bunch of different Up things stomach so what type of st so in here you have like diamo diamo diotane which are, you know yep. pepto-bismol and uh manitidireal basically stuff yeah. like that this is like i said we're actually in the middle of rearranging because we're currently in fifteen thousand square feet um and we just gained another 10 from the the warehouse next door just the so you guys are building. expanding so that's we're good. expanding um so we actually get that space start of may so we're going to cut a big door, like just a big pass-through door between this and the next space. And then um, what would the other space be used for? Just we're gonna the move, same thing? Yeah, we're going to move shipping um, to that side. And then it'll just be production and all shelving on this side. Just more inventory. Yeah, just so we can keep more inventory. Because we've got a, a lot of like full-size kits and product lines coming out soon as well. Obviously, you guys have a lot of inventory that's here. It's good. Yeah. Are you having issues with supplying? you know, getting some of your inventory and getting supplies. Yeah. So supply chain has been difficult for sure, especially with the new products, um, because some of those are made overseas. So especially in the medical world, it's just the it's, reality. It's, that's where they come um, from. So we are having a little, we have had some hiccups, but for the most part, our logistic teams does a really good job of projecting. Um, we're able to get ahead of things because we do so much business. Um, we're able to order in those large and quantities. And now which, that you have the larger warehouse, you know, if you have an entire shipping container coming in of totally. band-aids, you can store it somewhere. Totally. Photo studio. So right now they're setting it up to do, um, take some photos for a campaign we're getting ready to run. All right. Um, but usually this table would be in here and we take, this is where we take kind of the studio. This is our marketing design team. All, most of what we do is done in-house. 
Um, actually, the vast majority of it is. And so we crank everything out of here. It makes us really nimble. And we're able to... And that's the, the great thing about it is you want to add a new product. You're not waiting on some other company to totally. take the photos. You've got your own studio. Totally. And I've seen like you... Actually, I can see it on the monitor over there. But yeah. you guys have very, very wonderful high-res photos of yeah. your products. Yeah, we've got a and really you can really awesome zoom team. in where sometimes some websites you'll see and it's like this little postage stamp and you're trying to like, what is this item? Totally. And you guys have really high-res photos you can look at. Totally, yeah. And we have we have a lot of fun too. So the, the new thing around the office has been these kind of gimmick ads based on nice. movies and you know, people on the team. So you guys create this stuff up here? Yeah, so this one's our bot. This yeah, no, one, so you don't want the blank. So this one, this but, but if I like it, do you get the credit? No, I had nothing. To do. No. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, one, this one's our boss. That's our e-commerce director. Okay. Um, that's Corey. Yep. <laughs> you Yoda. So we, we, there's a couple fun ones. So not not everyone on the team has gotten one yet, but we're we're working on. It. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, marketing and graphic design, and this is our uh, product design team, packaging design. So we just got these in today. I guess we're we're looking into some new hard mount options. Um, so yeah, most of the products get tweaked here for us. And then, um, you test them out, that. see how they work and say, yeah. Oh, maybe it might fit better putting this yep. product. And, uh, yeah. and, uh, and again, all that's done in house. We have a phenomenal, um, product design team with some of the best in the, in the biz. So, and then on this side, uh, we'll have our customer service and logistics team, which looks like they're out right now. And then our sales team right here who most of so the if So like corporate orders and stuff like that. Yeah. So yeah. this is going to be wholesale resale executive team. So CEO, COO. All of our marketing, design, and e-commerce heads are up here. Conference room looks like they're going over some ads right now. Yeah, we won't um, bother them. But uh, I, I don't know if you can tell, but these are actually made out of old shipping containers. So, oh, that's um, cool. It's pretty cool. And then we had these these doors custom fast. Custom built into it. Yeah. The pandemic hit a lot of businesses hard. Right. So, but since you guys are in the medical side, did that actually benefit your business? Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you asked that. So we actually saw 467% growth okay. from 2019 to 2020. Which is, is great. You yeah. Know, for any small business to see that. Awesome. Awesome for us because, um, you know, we were selling PPE. We were selling masks. Right. We were selling gloves. I also think that the pandemic did a lot to make, help people realize that they're not prepared you know exactly some people the average person they didn't have these things totally on. totally yeah. and some people you know some people you know the toilet paper crisis of 2020 but in real reality like uh, getting to the like going to the hospital was a scary thing it was right so being able to take care of some of these minor injuries at if home, you take was care huge home rather than having to you know go to the hospital and risk exposure to covid or exactly. anything like that so so this is john john's our uh, svp of marketing well so, I'm, I'm sorry i missed the, the grand landing how did it go very well yeah so it it's a beautiful I got to sit in the cockpit. You didn't. So I'll get to hold that over you for a while. <laughs> right. Yes, yeah, so we let him hang out in the helicopter for a little while. And we got pictures, some cool pictures. holding the, uh, the first aid kit you guys sent. The my, my, my pack large. My pack. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I actually had to use it yesterday. We had to use it. Yep. Which actually worked out well. So, oh, really? yep. Oh, you did it all right. <laughs> He's alive. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that part on film, but he's alive. Yes. So, yeah, I'll um, cut it. Yeah. Yep. So he's, he's fine. But it was it was interesting because I am a paramedic. So it, uh, at least I, hey, I had a patient all of a sudden I wasn't expecting. Yeah. So as I'm, I was actively flying the helicopter at that moment and realized, hey, I also need to stop being the pilot at the moment and be a paramedic for a few minutes. So right around March 2020, mm -hmm. the height of everything. Right. The panic and whatnot. Uh, it's it's pretty fortuitous, but we had a lot of masks. Is that just kind of pure luck at the moment, or? I mean, kind of. I mean, we we were we were ready for it, and the demand just dropped. Right. That that kind of created this initial spike, put a new spotlight on survival. Yeah, exactly. Being prepared when you can't go into a hospital. Kind of the genesis of all of this was uh, the owners of the company. It's a family, a, a young family, and uh, their father passed away in a car wreck, and. Uh, you know, he bled out, and it took, I think, first responders about 25 minutes to get there. And too late. Which, he was out in the middle of nowhere, right? Yeah. So, um, so they would have a tourniquet or something with them yeah. that could have helped. Yeah, it could have helped. They wanted to give back and uh, find a way to so people have to go to that scene. So yeah, because I know, like, in the kit that you yeah. sent me. Clot, there, chest seals, exactly. pressure bandage. It's just the stuff that's... It's everything that you need plan and, and the, the space between and the beauty especially like how yeah. you guys label the stuff like when i was opening it up yesterday i'd looked at it like six months ago when you sent it to me but i hadn't really had an opportunity to use it yet and we were using it, i'm opening it up i'm like all right what do i need oh medication flip it over ibuprofen. hey there we go here's my ibuprofen i need and it's all labeled and still at the same time just because i'm a paramedic you know i it's nice to have something that's idiot proof for me too 